Okay, we've talked about storyboarding in various aspects. Now it's your chance to put some of that knowledge to use in some exercises that we have for you. We know that you're all creating story worlds for transmedia products that you're trying to create. And I would like to give you a, a, an assignment to create a little short story out of some of the material that you're developing so that you can then create a storyboard using that. Well, I want you to create a one-piston story cylinder, an engine, out of one element from the world that you're creating. You can figure out what it is. So here's your assignment. Find a character in this world that you're creating. A character, one character. You know who the character is. And if you've been... So here is a seven-beat story outline I want you to create around that character. Beat number one. Establish that character. Now, we all know that you know complex things about the character. Well, just show me where the character is. Is it morning? Is it night? Is the character asleep? Is the character sitting in a chair? Set up the character. Set that character in motion to try to get what that character wants. If it's a cup of coffee, the character goes to the kitchen to try to get a cup of coffee. It's up to you. Number four. The great thing about story, and the great thing about life, mostly, is that when you try to get something, you don't get it so easily. You hit a barrier, something gets in the way. So, put an obstruction in the way of your character getting what he or she wants. That is number four. Number five, when all that happens, as humans, we have two choices. We can give up, which we don't usually do, or we say, Hmm, there must be a better way. You set your character to thinking about a better way around that obstacle. That's why we look at stories. We want to see people solving problems. So, have your character come up with a better idea for how to get what he or she wants. So, beat number six is your character now taking action again in a new way to get what he or she wants. And then beat number seven, well... Does he succeed or does he fail? Is it a happy ending or is it a sad ending? That's up to you. So, you now have the elements of the one piston engine that drives story. A very, very simple seven part dynamic that will help generate story. I want you to write that down. Keep it simple. Don't take your character to outer space and have him deal with thousands of aliens. This is a very simple need. I want to walk the dog. I want to get a cup of coffee. Put it in the world that you're creating, write it down, because Ralph and I will then talk to you about how you're going to storyboard this.